Okay, today. Today, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Miss Free You. I told you guys that I would do a video on um, the death of Afini Shakur, and here it is. All right, so, um, wow. I think it's very, very sad um, that we have lost another influential person. Tupac's mom, um, first of all, just alone, the fact that she's Tupac's mom is a huge, huge deal. The other huge deal on her recent passing is she was a very prominent member of the Black Panther Party. She was actually, actually a communication secretary. I'm reading from my iPad and I'm getting this information from the source.com, by the way. Um, she was, um, a communication secretary for the Black Panthers movement. She would get up at 5 a.m. to help make free breakfast and give me one second okay she would get up at 5 a.m to help make free breakfast for um the community and um and she also would coordinate day-to-day -day office duties um you know she still kept Tupac's estate you know she manages his estate and she still kept efforts going um she still was trying to investigate his murder why he was killed and so forth and um you know, it's, it's really, really sad that this woman, I mean, she was only 69 years old. 69 is young. That's, to me, that's still young. You know, you still got a lot of living to do at 69, you know? And my mom is 67. She'll be, mom be 68 next, this month. So, that's, that's close to home. You know what I'm saying? And, um, so I'm going to read an excerpt from the article. So, after the Black Panther Party, Afeni continued her work in the community as a paralegal helping save hundreds of families from eviction and criminal convictions. She left an everlasting impact on the community and the arts world with her lifelong contributions that will never be forgotten. This woman also used to help people that, um, like up north, I'm from Jersey, and in Jersey and New York, you know, sometimes they had to do something called rent control where people would, landlords, would constantly, constantly increase rents to where they were they're already astronomically high up north but they were getting higher and higher to the point people couldn't afford it and you know they had to do something that would help the community or help the citizens you know of new york and or new jersey because we got to have a place to live right so she also had a hand in that like she also helped with the um rent strikes not, not so much the rent strikes but she tried to help what she can do to come event excuse me, to prevent, I'm so sorry, I talk so fast, it sounds like it caught up, to prevent evictions. And let me see if I can find another spot in this article. So she also helped with tenant organizations, as I mentioned, and led numerous rent strikes, resulting in several tenant-owned buildings, some of which still exist today. She was instrumental in organizing healthcare professionals and patients in Lincoln Hospital and Harlem Hospital to develop First Patient Bill of Rights, a forerunner of patient bill of rights now posted in every hospital. Afini Shakur. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like she deserves homage. She deserves the respect of being honored, um, you know, in her life. Honestly, you know, she was a great influence. Not only did she in, did all of those things for the community and for a number of different organizations, she gave us Tupac. One of the, oh my God, best rappers to date. You know what I'm saying? And like one of the best rappers and or lyricists to date. So she deserves homage. She deserves respect. And I think that she definitely deserves to be recognized for who she was and what she gave to the community as well as her life. So this, this one's for you, Afemi. May you rest in peace. My condolences go out to all of your family, to all of your friends, and um, anyone that was blessed to know you. Take care, all. Peace.